We've explored light mechs, mediums, heavies, and now we're going to ask the question with assault mechs, how do we use assault mechs? The past couple of vlogs that I've pushed up to the channel under the Battletech playlist, we're looking for those core tactica, these primary ideas within each weight class of how to use a machine, the things to be on the lookout for, the things to be reminded of. This way you can use that as a building block for them picking individual mechs, adjusting it slightly, and getting the most battle value out of each machine. Because Battletech, you never have enough mechs in your collection, and absolutely there is never enough battle value to get all the toys that you want on the table. So we want to make sure that we're getting out there and earning. So, assault mechs. Right away, you're like, Fritz, I only need to know one thing, where they are. Well, it's kind of focused with assault mechs. It's kind of like that. But the biggest challenge, of course, is if you do this one thing incorrectly, it is going to be almost impossible or very, very hard to earn battle value every single turn. It's kind of interesting that we've come full circle. Uh, I started with mediums because they're the workhorse. Then we go to heavies. Light mechs and assault mechs have a very similar core tactica in that they have a primary attribute that if you're not aware of and if you're not able to leverage on the hex map, it's not going to perform. It's not going to work. Everything else is almost secondary to this. So absolutely check out the light mechs, but we're jumping in to assault mechs. The biggest thing is speed. Now, yes, you've got a ton of armor. Think about the stalker. Think about the Atlas. You've got multiple primary weapons, multiple secondary weapons. You've got a decent amount of heat sinks. Even if you're a little bit running hot, you've got enough heat sinks to fire all these weapons. You're also investing a large amount of battle value, and your opponent is going to be keeping an eye on those assault mechs. Not that you can afford to ignore anything in Battletech. You're not ignoring assault mechs. So the biggest question here is with speed, yes, there are some machines like the Charger. There's always going to be a few machines that break the mold and are super fast. You can do some sort of custom assault mech, but stock assault mechs are very, very slow. You're always moving. You're moving, you're moving, you're moving. What this means is let's just avoid them, right? How, how do you deal with a powerful unit? Just avoid it. Don't be there. Now, I might be in range for an LRM 20 pack. I might take a PPC shot here and there, but I'm not going to close to like two or three hexes and get blasted by SRM packs and medium lasers and auto cannon 20s. And you have the heat to cycle through turn after turn. No way. I'm going to try and avoid you. I'm going to try and hit you at long range. I'm going to try and hit and run. Well, you don't use assault mechs to chase down other machines. You can't because if we look at various turns throughout Battletech, the first and second turn, you're moving into position to engage, trying to get favorable positioning. But that point moving forward, you want to be in a position to be shooting and using all those uh, assault mech weapons. If I'm running to the left side of the hex map and I engage one machine, I'm fighting like a victor. And then the victor runs to the other side. So then I chase after that. And then I move to the back to the center of the hex map. And then I move to the back of the hex map. I'm going to spend most of the game moving around, chasing air, firing off a PPC in an LRM 20 pack, not getting the big guns that I need. So what you want to look at right away, that's the framework. That's what we want to avoid. So how do we avoid this as best we can? You want to look at the mission. You want to look at the hex map that you're playing and look for these strategy points. Look for these places based on the mission, based on the map, based on your opponent's mechs, where they're going to hang out, where they're going to be. I mean, this, the biggest example is if there's a deployment point and you have to defend a certain point on the map, maybe a mobile HQ or a building in City Fight, City Tech, I know you're going to be positioned there. So I'm going to head, draw a straight line from my deployment zone to that area, and I'm going to march my assault mechs right there. Uh, likewise, if you have some machines that might be vulnerable, so you're planting those longbows way in the back with cover and you've got a spotter, well, if I run up the right side of the map and then cut left, then I'm going to be working onto your flank with that assault mech. 
So, and, and there's nowhere else to you to go because you're like, Fritz, I need to utilize these hills because if I'm out in the open, the rest of your lance is just going to savage my longbows. I need to be hiding behind those hills and mountains. Well, how does the assault mech get there to engage? So looking and making a tactical decision and saying, based on the battle value, where can I get the most? Where does this assault mech need to be? You Chase down opposing mechs, not by chasing them, but by moving where they're going to be, where they have to be. And the challenge with this, of course, is I can avoid you. Well, you make the pain of avoiding worse than sticking around. So going back to this example, if it's a hex map and I've got two or three longbows or two longbows and an LRM carrier sitting in the back, I'm going to be just blasting you real time with hundreds of LRM missiles. Well, if you move to a position where your assault mech or assault mechs now engage me, um, if I run, I'm going to be out in the open engaging the rest of your lance. Like kind of I'm, I'm in trouble either way, either place where I go. So exploring that idea and asking yourself the question with assault mechs, where do I need to be? Where is your opponent? Where is Fritz going to be with certain mechs? And when he arrives there, my assault mech is going to be there smiling. So turning it over to my fellow mech commanders and fellow mech warriors, uh, the tactica seems simple. This is, these are primary tactica, the primary tactica for utilizing an assault mech. Of course, you lay it over for individual mechs and see where you go from there. It's simple, but it's not easy. But you want to try and do the best, absolute best, because the biggest challenge with these assault mechs at any scale game we could do 4K battle value, 8, 16K clans, whatever it's going to be. It is a significant investment of battle value, and we want to make sure that we're earning it as best that we can every single turn.